Hello guys and welcome to the Football Manager Creators Fantasy Premier League hosted by me, Raxo FM, where today we are taking a look at every single FM creator involved in this league and my personal first draft. I'm sure you're probably here for the first part. So if you don't know how Fantasy Premier League works, it is basically a big competition that millions of people from all around the world compete in every single year to create a team of players with a certain budget to see how they perform in real life and predict who is going to do the best on the pitch. And they get points for how well those players do actually perform in the real Premier League games. And it goes across all 38 Premier League games. So what I have done is I've gotten some of your favorite football manager creators big small and everything in between to come here and try and do their best to see who is the best fantasy premier league manager i will be doing weekly videos on this going over the transfers that people have made the uh points that people have gotten the past week how their teams are looking and hopefully make it exciting and interesting for all of you at home so make sure you like and subscribe if you are new around here for those videos coming every single week, hopefully. Before I jump into my squad, I want to say a huge thank you to every single creator that is involved in this league and the ones that are coming because there are still some not quite confirmed. If you are a football manager creator and you want to get involved, make sure you let me know by just sending me a message on Twitter. Big or small, I don't care. If you want to get involved, you will be thrown straight in there. Honestly, I have no idea how I've gotten some of these people. For a 120 subscriber channel, I have no idea how I've gotten some of these amazing creators to work with me. But now it is time for what you have all come here for. My first draft, I know, you're all here for me. I mean, it is my channel after all. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not ashamed of that shameless plug at all. You're definitely not here for the big creators that we've got involved. Definitely not. Definitely for me. So this is the team that I have thrown together for my first draft. So we are looking through every single one of these players. I'll tell you a, a wee reason why I've given them uh, a spot in my team. Because, you know, this has been some thorough statistical analysis that's gone into this. And, uh, and to be honest, I think mathematically it's impossible for me to lose. But that's just my opinion. I'm also a tactical genius. So, you know, we're, we're getting these wingbacks to overlap, you know, stuff like that. Hit, hit early balls into the box. We'll be gagging and pressing the whole time. Don't think there's any tactics in FPL, but... I'll find a way to work it in, into it, you know, I'll, I'll get it drilled into the boys. Starting with the goalkeepers, we have Martinez and Matthew Ryan. Martinez has come in for Arsenal and done a really good job. There is a small chance he will start above Leno, and I, I am riding home with that small chance and hoping that he does start, well, for the sake of this Premier, uh, fantasy Premier League side. Matt Ryan is always pretty solid, and with a, a point tally of 135 points last year, of only 4.5 million. I think it's a no-brainer. I don't see why anyone wouldn't be chucking him into to their squad. Saliba, well, well now we're moving on to the defence. I got ahead of myself there. Saliba is a new centre-back for Arsenal. He was out on loan last year. He doesn't have an image yet, so that kind of makes me look like an idiot. But he looks like a very good young prospect. He might not be starting, but again, I'm, I'm willing to throw the dice and see if he does, because if he does, I've gotten myself a real bargain there. Dunk is always a very solid defender. He's actually linked with quite a few different clubs. So even if he doesn't stay with Brighton, I'm sure he'll do an amazing job in the Premier League. So for only 5 million, I can't see any reason why not. Marcus Alonso is one of the highest points per game player. If we actually sort it down to points per game, points per game, points per match. There we go. He's got 5.6 points per match last year, which is absolutely insane that's like a goal or an assist actually no that's objectively not true that's more like an assist per game but that's still pretty impressive we've got next to him trent alexander arnold i mean obviously playing them in right back and center back really doesn't make a difference in this league but he was one of the top point scorers last season and i think for 7.5 million dollars yes it is a lot of money but i think it's well worth it kieran gibbs has come in he's a bit of a gamble i'm not going to lie I'm not hugely confident that he will do amazing. I don't think he's going to exactly light the world on fire. But again, willing to throw the dice for him. He's just a budget option. And sometimes you got to have those rotation. Take those risks. Take a, take a stab in the dark is the words that I'm looking for. Going into our midfield. How on earth is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang a midfielder? I mean, 
like for twelve million dollars, he's still very expensive. But he's just not a midfielder, even though he plays on the left sometimes. For well, most of the time these days for Arsenal, he's not a midfielder. It's just not intelligent. But I'm not complaining. We've chucked him into our squad. I just don't think I have the heart not to put him in my squad as an Arsenal fan. He's just too good. If he leaves, I will have an emotional breakdown on camera. McGinn is next to him. He looks like a solid player for Aston Villa. Last year, he didn't do bad. Again, another stab in the dark. But I feel like if Aston Villa do build on what they did last year and you know do better in the league, he will certainly be more involved in more goals and more assists. So I'm really hoping that he can do well. In that category, Kevin De Bruyne, I mean, do I have to say anything else? I'd be silly not to put him in my squad. Only 11.5 million, and that's a lot, but realistically, you'd be silly not to. Bruno Fernandes, again, I think you'd be silly not to add him into your team. He came in last season in the summer, and he got 117 points. It's a no-brainer. He changed the Manchester United squad, and for only 10.5, I, I really don't see any reason why not. Next to him, St. Maximan. I don't think he's as good as maybe he's hyped up to be, but I think for $5.5 million, you can't go wrong. He could end up being bad. He could end up being amazing. So realistically, it's another one of those stabs in the dark, but I think this one is more of an educated guess than a real stab in the dark. Chris Wood. Yeah, okay, I, I will admit, this is a little bit because he's from New Zealand, but it's actually a lot because he's actually a very consistent goal scorer in the Premier League and getting 14 goals last year and I think he's only going to build on that it actually surprised me that this man hasn't broke into the 20s ever in his uh, Premier League experience he's a very good player and I don't see any reason why not to stick him into the side for only 6.5 million dollars Mitrovic was amazing way back in the day for uh, Fulham when he came up with them last time so I'm really hoping that he does do just as well next time. I'm not hugely confident, but again, $6 million, it's a bit of a bargain, so I can't complain at all. And it m means that I can, of course, have great players like Abamian, like De Bruyne, like Fernandes, in the rest of my team. Rodrigo is our next striker. If you see, you take a look, I've got some very cheap strikers, and that does worry me just a wee bit. But, I mean, I'm a tactical genius, so I can't really go wrong, can I? <laughs> Rodrigo coming in from Valencia he looks like a very good player in the Valencia side and Leeds have gotten for a really good price and he I think he's just going to do quite well on the Premier League obviously could do bad that's what transfers are for so this side is definitely subject to change but right now this is what I'm looking at this is why I'm thinking and I'm I'm mildly confident with it is uh, I mean my goal this year is not to win the thing it's just to not lose Actually, I wouldn't even mind losing, because then at least there would not be no other creators that feel bad about themselves. So, I'll take one for the team if I have to. We're going to move on now to the thing that you actually came to see. If you were listening to me talk on for ages, I mean, watch the rest of my content. If, if you can handle that, you can probably handle the rest of it. But seriously, now I'm going to go through every single content creator that is involved in this league. I've got an amazing list some amazing talents and I, I i feel so lucky to have them involved and i just want to say a huge thank you to them once again so in no particular order the football manager creators we have in the first ever hopefully annual fpl creators league is the custard prophet leo demos old lady plays passion for fm the manager man Webby FM, JD FM, the FM newbie, A bomb FM, Swedish fullback, Zealand, yes, Zealand. I'm sorry, I, I know I didn't pause on anyone else, but how how have I managed to get Zealand involved in this? I, I don't know. I, I I just don't know. It's probably because I'm from New Zealand. He feels bad for me. Next we have Hood Gaming, Luterworth Fox. Could have said that one wrong. Very sorry if I did. FM Digi, Edinburgh FM. FM Simo, Roland Bose, or Boss maybe, I'm not sure, Matt Brown, and the creators I'm still trying to get involved, but have said they're keen to get involved, so sorry if they end up deciding not to join, that's absolutely fine, no pressure on them, but just in case, uh, we have Samwise ATP, Cobby, and Omega Luke, very big creator again, 
and Benny D FM. So a great mixture of some insane talent in the FM community, including some really small creators like me <laughs> and some really big creators. And again, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone involved. And that is where we're going to end this first ever episode of Football Manager Fantasy, the Football Manager Creators Fantasy Premier League. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you so much to all the creators involved. I can't say how much it means to me and this channel. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new around here for weekly updates on this channel and daily-ish football manager videos. You know, I don't just make this kind of content. Look at my other stuff. I'm not that bad at this. Well, I'm kind of bad, but I'm not that bad. I'm, I'm really not that bad. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you don't miss the next one. And I will see you all later wait if actually if you're a football manager creator and you want to join seriously hit me up i will let you in it's not an exclusive club at all